How's it going, backpackers? Dave here with Off Grade. I'm with the backpacking, hiking, camping, and gear. If you like those things too, please do me a favor and check out that subscribe button down below and that bell notification right next to it so that you can be aware every single time I post a new video. So today is a special day for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of which is I am backpacking the Channel Islands, actually a very small portion of it, and my campground is only a half mile in, so I don't know how much backpacking cred I'm going to get for this one, but it's also a bucket list hike uh, and or backpacking trip or camping trip for me, and um, this also marks my very first backpacking style trip alone, so my first solo trip I've done. Uh, a solo trip just kind of like car camping by myself before but um, never backpacking so this one is going to be uh, pretty awesome it's just going to be an overnighter um, I decided to just do one night for the uh, first trip that I've got out here and um, I don't know maybe I, I took off a little bit more on my first solo trip going out to a more remote island but um, seems pretty safe Checked in with the park rangers already, and um, they've got bathrooms and picnic tables and whatnot. So, for being a more remote island, it's actually decently plush. So, uh, let's see what the island has to offer. So, the uh, park ranger was saying that this set of islands, I think there are like five total, are home to or is home to about a thousand different species. There are a couple of um, animals here that are exclusive only to this island that I'm on today and I'm on the Santa Cruz um, scorpion um, island so hopefully I can see some foxes and other things that I won't be able to find anywhere else in the world seeing my first fox already over here right across the road at campsite 18 hey little guy wow they're a lot smaller than I thought they'd be and here we are right over here at site number 19 This is a uh, pretty awesome and one of the main reasons why I decided to choose this campground was because there is a little bit more tree coverage around me here um, a lot of the more wild camping and or back country camping that is allowed on the island um, is a lot more open and you have the Sun beating down on you all day so this is a, uh, a small section almost feels like it's in a canyon a little bit that has uh, more tree coverage and I can instantly feel the difference in the weather already. I got the tent all pitched up. The workman gloves definitely came in handy. First time ever pitching this tent, I definitely don't recommend you guys doing that um, when you're going out on a backpacking trip. Set it up in your own backyard first, so it took me a little bit extra time. Um, and first pitch actually isn't that bad. Um, there is a certain method that you should consider when you're setting up your tent, and I think I'm gonna end up doing an additional video just showing you how to do that, particularly for these uh, non-freestanding tents that only require a trekking pole or two. Um, but I think it looks pretty good so far. All right, bug head net is already on because of the crazy gnats. 
got it around here. I used one of my Picardin wipes and it wasn't doing much. So on goes the head stocking. Let me just show you the final product of the tent here. Not bad for first pitch, I do say so myself. I've got all of the head end and the foot end, every single stake possible um, to just kind of like pull it out and give me as much interior space as I could. And then here's a quick view of the inside. Again, not a perfect square or rectangle all the way around. Um, I forgot a couple of the uh, the lines that kind of go into the stakes, so I kind of pulled them out after the fact. But for the most part, uh, a decently tight enough pitch. Got a little bit of uh, of a bump out right there. I'll see if I can fit my backpack in there. If not, they have like these uh, bear boxes or fox boxes that they call them here because we don't have bears. But um, pretty good. Still wet. Got my aqua tabs in uh, the bag with my Sawyer filter. Probably shouldn't do that. fashion you like the new do um, I just figured I'd give you a recap here after um, the first day the only day that I'm gonna be here it's about 547 right now just had some dinner had a uh, mountain house beef stroganoff with noodles for the first time uh, I'm not really a big fan didn't think it had that much flavor uh, pretty high in calorie count though um, and then I had just uh, an Ultima uh, drink mix or electrolyte mix um, for water. I think a big fail for me today has been um, the alcohol stove. So I have the Tokes Titanium 750 milliliter pot with the Vargo windscreen that I like to use. And um, it just took me, uh, no joke, like an ounce and three quarters to boil one and two thirds or roughly one and three quarters cups of water. So, and that was under maybe mild windy conditions. It was kind of off and on, but it wasn't a strong wind. So um, that in my mind is a massive failure from a gear um, standpoint. So I'm really glad that um, it's only an overnighter and, uh, and I just have enough to, to get out of here like tomorrow morning. So if this was like a weekend trip, I'd pretty much be screwed. So I'm really glad that uh, I was able to test that out in the field to basically confirm that it was a failure. So uh, I'll be looking for a new alcohol stove system. And the other thing too about this camp, it's really nice. It's actually, like I said, it's really shady. It's just that uh, the uh, gnats have been going crazy. So the bug head net has definitely come in handy and I've used it uh, almost all day, except for on my hike. I didn't really need it on the day hike. Other than that, um, they have uh, two major camps grounds here again if I didn't mention before um, and um, it's decently crowded I don't think they offer wild camping in this area but um, it's uh, decently crowded at the campsites I'm here on a, on a Thursday I'm leaving tomorrow on a Friday and uh, there's still a decent amount of people here uh, it's a little bit easier if you come during the week if you're planning on coming out and taking a couple days off of work or whatever um, the weekends are packed they're usually packed for like a month or two uh, in advance so just a heads up on that one but uh, really liking it here so far I'm not sure if 
if um, the uh, hike video that I just shot today is going to be coming before or after this video, but uh, be on the lookout for that one if you haven't caught that one. And uh, I think for the rest of the night here, I'm, I'm probably just going to settle in. I got a, a couple of movies that I have downloaded that I'll watch in the tent and uh, just uh, enjoy the night. I'm not sure if I'm going to shoot any more tonight. I might, I might not. I'm not sure. See how I feel. I want to talk about one more, um, I guess, gear failure, sort of, kind of. Um, but it was just kind of like, you know, my own thinking and my own design or my own choice here. Um, this is the Kanak uh, collapsible water bottle. I thought I'm going to talk about this on my hiking video too, but um, it is not that great uh, maybe it's good for like collapsing it down saving space if you're going on like a plane ride or something like that but um, you know having a, a floppy water bottle that you're trying to drink out of when you're hiking on trail or otherwise is not particularly great so I see what all the hype around the uh, smart water bottles is all about other than that I modified it with a uh, platypus uh, sport cap on it because it just came with like a screw top um, so that's working out actually really well. The, it's threaded on there and it doesn't really leak that much. So um, as far as like the function goes, it works, but just the simple fact that it's collapsible is uh, not that great of a feature. that much in the nighttime last night it is a little bit before eight o'clock um the second day i gotta get up and get going um it got down to about i want to say the low 60s last night and when it first started out i was like oh i'm not gonna need anything more than just the uh, nature quilt so i actually unzipped it and just kind of uh went um, with it as a blanket and then I kind of woke up in the early morning and it was rather chilly so I ended up grabbing the um, liner underneath it to uh, to stay warm so uh, more on the quilt in a future video and my impressions but swing it around and show you the interior here of the I've got like all of my gear just uh, kind of stowed on the side here. This is the head end. And then some extra water. I actually had my uh, backpack I just shoved in here. I think with my uh, frameless pack it'll actually work a lot better. And I didn't want to keep anything out in the vestibule. I just had my chair out here. But, uh, and then also my... Uh, Giga Pump Lantern it works really nicely up there with the hook. But um, first night in the Lanchan Pro 1, it's actually pretty decent. I'm not used to, you know, a, a shorter wall. I'm kind of slanted over here. But um, I'm still really liking the tent so far. So let's get up and, and get going. <music>
headphones. Another thing I don't hear anybody else talking about. Awesome. to go with um, one ounce of alcohol and a little bit over eight ounces for my tea and um, it's still burning here so um, no wind today and the alcohol burner performed a lot better <laughs> honey cinnamon peanut butter. How bad? Well that's it. I uh, got camp all cleaned up, picked up a couple of pieces of extra trash that were in mine, and uh, ended up bringing my tea out with me on the walk back here because I couldn't finish it in time. I got a bucket to get my uh, boat ride back home. So thanks so much for uh, coming along on my first ever solo sort of backpack style of an adventure. Um, I thought it went great. Had a blast. Had a really good time. It was definitely too short. Had some type 2 fun on a hike yesterday after I got here and set up camp. And uh, I think I'll definitely be back. I want to explore other parts of this island because I was only in a really small section of this island and um, maybe explore the other islands there's a bunch of them anyway if you like this adventure and you want to see more of this content please hit the subscribe button down below and give me that thumbs up I really appreciate it and remember if you had it off grid make sure you do research and you make it a safe one I'll see you guys on the next one all right post trip meal time and trying to follow a little bit more of the low carb lifestyle we got the blaze keto pizza all right i'm gonna destroy this thing